Let's take a look at Smart Content. This is a convenient place to install and uninstall products. There is a file view and a products view. Products is the main view for installing, uninstalling, updating content. If we look at these tabs at the bottom of the products page, uh, there's an all, installed, available, updates, and pending. Installed are the products that I own that are currently installed on this computer. You can see the basics here, default lights and shaders, Genesis 2 and 3. I could install Genesis 1 as well if I wanted to use older content. Let's take a look at our Genesis 3 starter essentials. From this products view, I can double click on any product to enter it. Now that I'm in inside the starter essentials, we can see all of the different, different components inside this product. Let's go to figures and apply one of these characters to the scene. Okay, now let's go out of the product. Now you can notice that there's a lot less content being shown here. That's because we currently have this character selected, which is a Genesis 3 male, and we have filter by context, which means it will only show content uh, that works on this character. If I turn off filter by context, I'll again see all of the content that I have on my system. So let's turn this back on. Now I want to put wardrobe on this character. I can click on wardrobe and we can see that all I have installed is wardrobe that's inside this product here. So I could go inside the product and see what that consists of. There it is. Another way to go see this content is to, instead of using products at this point, I can go to files. I want to see any files that can fit on this character. So if I'm in files, this basically adds all of your content together. So this will be all the hair that I own that fits on this character because of filter by context. All of the wardrobe I own that fits on this character. In this case, there's not a lot going on because all we have is Genesis 3 base. So let's go back into our products and let's install more stuff. If I go into available, this will show me products I own that I can install. This little icon shows a DAS Connect download icon, so it's available for download. I'll go ahead and download this product by simply double clicking. Notice how it popped up an account login. I was working offline so far. It requires a login to be able to connect to my account and download this content. So I'll go ahead and click login. So now that is installing. We can see it came, it went out of the available tab and it's available in pending. You can see the status. It's filling up with color as it downloads. And here at the bottom, it tells me Swords of Time is downloading and it's installing 96, 105 pieces of 203 pieces. All right, so now it's done. You can see that it's been flagged as a new product. Uh, I can go into products and installed, and now I can see it. So there's two ways to apply it now. One is to stay in products and go inside that product. And now I'm navigating inside that product. I see there are accessories, there's materials, poses, props, and wardrobe items. And this is a great way of putting all of the things that go together with this product. If I wanted this sword, pose, outfit, going from the product view is a great way to do it because they're all here. A lot of these products will have a outfit and that means just put everything on this character. So I can go ahead and double click on that and it will load this outfit on the character. There we go. Zoom out and here's our character. Uh, we have different material options and uh, this is where you'll see a lot of materials that have, e that have a flag for iRay or that are for 3 to light because there are two uh, renderers available to you. You can also access those by going into the materials. You can see here iRay. So this gives me just the iRay materials. Okay, so now uh, that's pretty good. Let's get some uh, a better pose for this character. And uh, let's get rid of the sword and the shield. I just want them bare fisted for now. Okay, we'll select our character and let's go into files. So if I want to see all the poses that fit on this character, I can go to files and poses and this aggregates all the poses that fit on my selected character because I have the filter on rather than uh, only the poses that came with a specific product. Uh, we could use one of these, uh, but it's not very interesting. So let's go see uh, if we have any other poses. So let's go into our products and we're already in poses again because it syncs between files and products 
And you can see there's, uh, there's poses for, for women in here as well. And that's because my filter by context isn't on. If I turn this on, now it's filtering for only poses that fit my selection, my scene selection. Uh, so I own a few, but they're not very interesting. Right now I'm in the available tab, which are the things I own that are not installed. If I go into installed, again, I don't have a lot installed here. So what else can I do? Well, let's go to the store. Let's go see if there's anything interesting there. So I'll go to the store, and this will actually show me, again here it's, use, it's searching for poses for Genesis 3 male, and finding the ones I do not own, and it's showing them in the trending order. So uh, one of these looks kind of interesting. Let's try this one, the DA Flex Pose. So I can click on it, and let's open this up a little bit bigger, see what it is, and I can see images uh, of the product and a description, and I can go ahead and hit Buy. So let's do a Buy. And um, what I'll do is I'll switch, I'll use uh, some of my store credit that I have here. And hit OK, place order. So it's processing the order. Uh, this billing information actually comes directly from your online account. So if you had a credit card information attached to your online store, it will show up here. Now that it's been purchased, it'll show up in our available tab. Let's go to available and there it is, DA Flex Poses. So that's the new product. Uh, we can hit install here if we wanted to, or we can return to the store. We can double click here. There's all sorts of different ways to get it installed. I'll hit install here. And you can see how it's being installed very quickly. And now it's, in, it's available. If I go to my installed tab, let's get rid of our store for now. It's right there. I can go ahead and select this product, find a pose that I like, and apply it to my character. There we go. We hope you really enjoy this new workflow and the advantages of being able to install and uninstall from inside the application as well as find new content for your creations.